What's up, everybody? It's your girl, Danny with Danny Girl Comics, and I am back with another CGC unboxing video. Yes, just as you saw on the thumbnail, we are unboxing some Miles Morales fire for you today. It is fire, but I didn't want to do this one alone, so I have a special guest that is going to join me with this unboxing. Please welcome my son, Christopher. What's up, Chris? What's going on now? What's going on, baby? Look at those dimples. Yes, this is one of my heartbeats, and uh, he is a huge Miles fan, and so I thought it would be nice for him to join me on this unboxing since it is an all Miles Morales um, CGC unboxing. Uh, let me get a look at that shirt. Looks like we got on the same shirt, just a different color. That's what's up. Yep. That's what's up. All right. So I did go ahead and pick out a slab for when we reach 1,000 subscribers. We are super close. I think as of the making of this video, we were at like 994 subscribers. So we are so close to 1K. I appreciate each and every one of you. And, um, yeah, I'm going to show the slab that we're going to give away towards the end of the video. Uh, but real quick, before we get into the unboxing, uh, let's just learn a little bit more about Chris. So, son, uh, tell me a couple of things that you're interested in for the viewers, things that you uh, that interest you. Um, I really like dinosaurs. Uh, I'm really into them. I like to come up with my own theories about them. Uh, since there have been dinosaur eggs discovered before. So, yeah, I study them. And then, two, I'm really into, uh, anything to do with kaiju. I like the MonsterVerse and all that stuff. Huge Godzilla fan and all that kaiju lore, how big they grow, who's the strongest, all that stuff. This is the stuff I have to listen to all day, every day. And then, lastly, I like video games and action figures like a typical. Kid. Yeah, but see, you like action figures so that you can play with them. Mommy keeps hers in the box, which I believe you told me you thought that was weird. That, yes. That I don't play with my action figures. So I see you brought a few of them here. These are not cheap action figures, but he likes to play with them. So sometimes he even buys it with his own money. Let's go ahead. Let's see who you got real quick. Well, first up, we have Miles Morales. Uh, this is... That's the gaming verse, uh, gamer verse uh, action figure. All right, all right. Yep, very detailed. Uh, second up, we have Venom. Now, you're a huge Spider-Verse fan. That's You You like Venom, you like Miles, Peter, uh, Agent Venom. You like, you like that whole Spider-Verse, right? Yep. These two came from the same places. Okay, all right. And you got one more up here. Who is this? Hobgoblin. Hobgoblin. Oh, this is cool. I like the colors on this one. He's so blue and detailed and got a nice tattered cape on here. Mm -hmm. All right, son. So now that the viewers know a little bit about what you're into, we are both into Miles Morales. And we're going to get this unboxing started. Let's get it, y'all. All right. Here it is. We got the box. Chris is going to help me out because I'm going to take him out. And um, Chris, if you could please hand me my glasses so that I can see these labels. Thank you, son. I appreciate it. Those are cool. Oh, you like the color of these? Mm-hmm. Yep, you know I have to have these readers now. All right, we got this out of here. And hopefully we got good grades. Um, I will say that all these books appear to be in really good shape. Um, I don't expect anything under a 9.4. If there is anything less than a 9.4, I will be kind of surprised. I will say that these books were pressed by CCS. So they did go through the CGC pressing, which is CCS. Uh, 
I will also tell you guys that it took a year for these books to come back. I submitted them in March of last year. And um, I don't know if you guys remember when I mentioned on one of my videos where the submission disappeared off of my dashboard and I could no longer see the status of it. And that was because they had been there for over eight months. This is the first submission that I've ever had there that long. Um, but you know, all is well. Now we're gonna go ahead and take a look at everything and see what we got. All right, so let's start pulling these out. Chris is gonna do the honors and hold these for me as I pull them out. Oh, this one is surrounded by cardboard. Let's uh, get this over here. All right, the first book up is Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number one. And we got a 9.8. Yes, that's the way I like to start. What do I always say? Let's, Let's get, get it. it. Yeah. What do you say? What do you say? Yes, sir? Something like that? Yes, I say yes, sir. All right, all right. Well, you can say yes, sir, when we pull out these books and see these grades. All right. Next up. Is also Miles Morales Spider-Man number one. This is the 1 and 50 variant cover. And we got another 9.8. Yeah. Amazing. I'm loving it, y'all. Y'all know how I feel, and I'm loving it. We're going to pass this over to Chris so he can hold it up for your viewing pleasure. And let's keep rolling. All right, so this one is uh, an awesome cover. This is Spider-Man number one. Uh, this is the toe variant, which I want to say was like a, it was a weird ratio, like one in 20, I think. Maybe a one in 25, but I want to say it was a one in 20. And we got a 9.6. And as you can see, this is the book that inspired the Miles Morales custom label. So when I got this book, I immediately uh, knew that I wanted to go ahead and get that custom label to have the book match. Um, if I'm being honest, uh, I thought this book had a shot at a 9.8, but I do see there's one little issue up at the top, which of course will be hard to see on the video, but y'all know how. I don't necessarily have to have all 9.8s. I am happy with this 9.6 and it is beautiful. All right, so far so good with CCS. Um, you know, again, these were pressed by the company that people say don't send your books to them, but they did all these books. So looking good so far. All right, from that same Spider-Man run, it is Spider-Man issue number two. And I want to say this is another ratio. This is, I believe, the one in 25 Randolph variant. Yes, um, so we got a 9.6. Again, happy with that. I thought this one probably would be a 9.6, um, but all of these are for the PC, as you know, so I am good with it. We are rolling. We are rolling. You can say it louder. Say, let's get it. You want to say, let's go. You know, I, I, other people say it on the channel, but it's cool. If that's your word, that's your word. You can say, let's go. That's, that's fine. I'm going to say, let's get. That's fine. All right. That's fine. All right. You fine. I'm fine. All right. Next book up is from the Miles Morales, the ultimate Spider-Man. This is issue number one. And we got a 9.6. And this is exactly what I thought the grade would be on there because it did have, there is a spine tick right there. And so um, I was hoping no lower than the 9.4, but we got a 9.6. I will take that all day. All right, all right. All right, we got a good number of 9.6s in here. It'd be nice to see a few more 9.8s, but that's okay. That's all right. Okay, next up, we got Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number one. And this is the animation variant, which I believe was a one in 10, if I'm not mistaken. 
and we got a 9.6. And this one I thought would be a 9.8, but you know what? It's, it's all good. It, it still looks great. And uh, I love it. I'm loving it, y'all. Y'all know it. This looks like the Spider-Verse Miles Morales. That's exactly what it is. It's the Spider-Verse animation variant. And it's looking good over there. All right, what else we got? We got one, two, three. We got four more books to show you guys. Let's go ahead and uh, get the next one out. All right, this is awesome. This is uh, Secret Wars number one. And this is the Heroes Con edition. So it's the Miles version of the Secret Wars cover. And we got a 9.8. And it's funny because I thought this book would be a 9.6, but I am absolutely happy with a 9.8 um, because I guess the defect that I saw, they got it out. So I love this cover. I love the original Secret Wars 8 cover. And uh, this is going to pair very well next to my, uh, my Secret Wars 8. So originally this was like a symbiote beater. Uh, yeah, so if you look on that picture back there, uh, that's the uh, the black suit is what they were calling it uh, back when that was made. And that's what they call an homage cover to that book. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. Next up, more Miles Fire coming at you. This is Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number 10. This is the 1 and 50 McGinnis variant. Yes, yes, yes. Now we starting to see those nine eights. Come on now, let's get it, y'all. Yes, this is an awesome cover, and uh, I'm super happy to have that. You go ahead and show that off for a minute while I reach in for the next book. Next up, we have another one from the Ultimate Run. So Miles Morales, the Ultimate Spider-Man, issue number two. And we got a 9.8. And I remember purchasing this off of Macari, actually. I know a lot of people say, oh, don't buy books off Macari. I've gotten great books off Macari. Um, My Secret Wars 8. I bought off of Macari for $75 raw and it came back a 9.6. So, <clears throat> you know, don't sleep on Macari. They got some, some good deals to be had there and you can get some good books. This is one of them. I love this cover. This one also gives me Spider-Verse vibes. I mean, I, I know it's not the Spider-Verse, but like the colors and the way it looks. What, what do you think? Uh, yeah, it does pretty much look like the Spider-Verse. It's just that his costumes are a bit different. Yes, but the colors really pop in that. And I'm so happy to have that back in a 9.8. All right, we got one last book in here, and it is a big one. It is Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number 13. It is the... Raza variant in a 9.8. Yes, let's get it, y'all. Come let's on. Go. Now, um, they don't have this uh, label as the first appearance of Billy Morales, which is interesting. Come on, CGC. Y'all could have put that on the label here. All right. So this is the last book in our box. We got some good grades, uh, even though they were pressed uh, through CCS, um, they pressed and cleaned them. And we got all nine sixes and nine eights. What was it? Like five nine eights and four nine sixes or something like that. No, I had about 10 books. Yeah. Y'all saw them. Y'all saw the grades. All good in my book. So I am very happy um, with that submission. And um, I do want to go ahead and share the book. Oh, wait, wait. We got a bonus unboxing. I said I was bringing Miles Fire, and I got one more book. Should we do a bonus unboxing? Yeah. Yeah, all right, all right. Let's do a bonus unboxing really quick, 
And then I'll share the uh, slab that I'm going to use in our 1K giveaway. So I do have another video uh, that I'm gonna put out showing a, um, that I went to an art show. Um, I don't know if this one will be put up first or that one, um, but uh, I got some art prints and I am going to probably use some of those as giveaways as well. And so uh, I'll share those with you in the other video. But this is a purchase off of the bay and looks like it's bubble wrap pretty good. So we're gonna probably do an edit to uh, get this out of the bubble wrap. It is bubble wrap very well. And we'll be right back. All right, so we got all of the bubble wrap off of the book. Let's go ahead and share it with everybody. We have Spider-Man 2, issue number one, and it is the Michael Turner cover. I absolutely love this cover. It is beautiful. It is fire. And I am so happy to have this in the collection. I want to say that um, this is the first appearance of what they call them, the evil Miles, the dark Miles, gangster Miles, criminal, criminal Miles, however you want to. It's the Miles Morales from the actual 616 universe. And I want to say this is his first appearance. Uh, I'll confirm that and put it on the bottom of the screen uh, once I confirm it. Uh, in my live stream, I unboxed another uh, issue. This is a, It was the same issue of the book, just a different cover. It was also a Michael Turner cover, but it had uh, Peter and Mary Jane on the front of it. Another fire cover for this issue by Michael Turner. I absolutely love them. And uh, yeah, I had to go ahead and scoop this up uh, in a 9.8. Wow, this is amazing. I love the cover. Yeah, it, that, that cover is fire, see? Even the youngling agrees that it is fire. So glad I could share that bonus unboxing with you guys. And now let's go ahead and share the slab that we're going to give away once we hit the 1K mark. I am giving away a spec book in a 9.8, which is Thor issue number six. It is the second print wrap around variant. And uh, yeah, uh, one of my awesome subscribers will uh, have this book added to their collection. And I can't wait till we can give that away to one of you guys. So. I always, always, again, want to show my appreciation and my many thanks to all of the subs, the views, the likes. Always appreciate you guys. And I appreciate you taking the time to view this video. I know that you see a lot of Miles on here. You see a lot of Wolverine. Uh, but that's just me being a focused collector. Um, when I first got back into collecting, I felt like I was all over the place and getting stuff and realized that I had books in my collection that I wasn't really into or passionate about. Yes, I do collect more than Miles and Wolverine, but I am uh, centered around those two characters as far as trying to gather their important keys, as well as maybe complete some of the runs for those two characters. So I appreciate you guys hanging in there with me as I unbox these books, which have not been the same books, by the way. So we got a lot of miles in the collection now slapped. And um, yeah, I, I just want to thank you, son, for being my guest on this awesome fire unboxing. No problem. All right, all right. And you guys, you know what to do. Show your collection some love. Give it to them, give it to them and take care.